come swallowing mosquitoes of death. Dane's back with another fucking mixtape. Borderline mixtape number two. The first one... <laughs> yeah, and its title is way too long for me to ever fucking remember. Um, but the first one... If you remember my review... I said it's... It made me realize mixtapes could actually be fucking dope. And this one continues it. I wanted to see how he'd top himself, and well... He fucking did it. Uh, this one had more more comedy, more fucking sleaze. Um, the clips were absolutely fucking hilarious. The majority of them... I hadn't seen, which really led to me really digging this one, because it just wasn't a bunch of shit I'd seen before, uh, with exception of, um, the main one I remember is One Guy, One Jar, <laughs> that stupid fucking idiot, um, always, <laughs> it still makes me laugh, even after all these years, um, I don't remember there being scat in the first one, but there are some pretty nasty fucking shit scenes in this in this flick. And uh, yeah, you can't help but fucking laugh. The shit is <laughs> literally the shit is fucking hilarious. Um, the one that really made me laugh is it's an extreme close up of the asshole on an Asian chick. And full-on turds coming out, and you see that crystal clear, but they still pixelate the snatch. Make it make sense. <laughs> um, and another one of my favorite parts in this mixtape, uh, nothing sleaze-related at all. Um, it was like a puppet or cartoon of uh, an 18-wheeler truck driver. Had the same last name as me. But he's singing this happy-go-lucky song in Danish. Um, it was about how much he loved his truck or driving truck or whatever. Uh, and it's spliced in with a bunch of real-life footage of 18-wheeler accidents on the highway. And I'm going to be right back because the battery's about to fucking die. Alright, I'm back. But I'm a fucking idiot and this battery isn't fully charged either. So I got to run through this quick. And I left off about the 18-wheeler. Uh, so yeah, this dude singing this happy-go-lucky song about his truck and how he loves it and shit. Uh, and it's spliced with all this fucking real-life footage of trucks just getting into fucking horrible accidents on the highway. <laughs> fucking hilarious. Um, super old-school McDonald's commercial that stuck out to me as well. Um... But yeah, just <laughs> keep an eye on Borderline uh, Vomitous Productions and the Borderline uh, mixtape series. Uh, there, there's hopes of a Volume 3 coming out later this year, uh, towards the end of the year. And I am fucking stoked to see what he comes up with next. Uh, I, he may have a couple of um, the limited ones left. Uh, oops, hands covering it. Each one has a different front and back. And then Banana Box releasing is coming out with the DVD. Uh, date yet still to be determined. Uh, grab this shit, folks. Uh, I'll have his Instagram in the description. Hit him up for a copy. Uh, shit is just dope as fuck. Uh, Dane, once again, thanks for hitting me up about this, man. Uh, fucking happy to review this. This shit was amazing. <laughs> Um, not sure what else to say besides fucking mosquitoes swallowing cum. <laughs>
Go get yourself one, folks. This shit's fucking awesome. It's an hour of revulsion and comedy and just pure what the fuck the whole way through. And it, it, it starts off, I'm not going to say how it starts off, like what's in the scene, but it's definitely an intention grabber and it's going to keep you locked in to see what the fuck else is coming. If I did have one gripe, <laughs> uh, the one complained about this, with the name like Come Swallowing Mosquitoes of Death, in the few scenes of Come Shots, the dude's loads were fucking weak as shit. Especially considering how hot the chicks were. Like, damn dudes. Just damn. I feel bad for them, man. They can't even shoot a good load and they're on camera. Pff, sucks to be them. <laughs> Anyways, go grab it. Thanks for fucking watching. Stay sleazy. Peace.